Now, I get asked a lot to tie many patterns that uh, basically I don't really normally tie, though I do tie dry flies, but uh, there's one fly I get asked a lot for is if I could tie like a Spanish style dry fly with a silk body. It's a basically silk body. And uh, I don't have the exact materials that they do use, like, but I have, I have silks, like this is a, the, what they call the Pearsles Marabou Floss Silk. And this is a, a nice olive, which would be ideal for the, the colour of the body I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to rub it with a Pearsle Silk, in this case it's a Primrose Yellow. Um, you could use any kind of heavy, quite heavy thread, you'll get a nice mark, but as well you'll find there's a, like a, just like a wee cider in the middle of the, of the wing. Now I'm going to tie the way I tie wings in and stuff like that. It's not going to be exactly how they tie it, but it's, it'll, give them, it'll give you an idea anyway. So and It's a nice dry fly, so I'm going to tie myself up a good half dozen or more, just to have in my box. So I thought I would show you. Um, hook I'm using, this is the one I'm using, it's fully mill. It's a black nickel, you can use bronze if you wish. It's a size 16. Uh, nice hook, it's one I like. I like the this point, it holds really well. Thread I'm going to be using, I'm just going to use a, a light K hull, an 8 0. First thing I'm going to do is wax the thread. And we start at the, the eye. Then basically come down about maybe 8 10, ten uh, turns of thread just to get it, get it started anyway. So, cock the Leon fibre. This is just a light speckled, so I'm going to basically bring it 90 degrees for the stem, normally lines this up. I'm never shy in putting uh, tail fibres on, so these are a bit twisted, so I'm taking them away. So see, you bring them 90 degrees, I'll bring them 90 degrees for the stem, tips will line up, tail them away, get the length you want, uh, round about, end for the length of the hook slightly, and then it's up to yourself, some like a nice long tail, but you're looking around about the shank or the hook length, which you can go over the back, which is there. Quite easy to tie it on the way down, just get your thread down. Get to the bend, you can come underneath the tail fibres, making sure they're sitting on top, and then pull the thread towards the, the eye, and then lock it in with a turn, and that there usually helps to spread the fibre. There we are. So we trim away the waist. Snip it up a bit. There we are. That's it. You see, there's quite a few tail fibres there. Now you've obviously got room there to remove some if you don't like them, so you don't want them. Now I've taken the length of the silk over. You know, I've got this. This is a, a maple's version. This is the old. And what I do here, I run the wax through it just to give it a grip. Strength, so catch that in the length of the body, which is there. Now, with silk, what you do is you take a length off, you can actually twist, untwist it, and you'll see the strands comes away. So, you can obviously take it off or thin it down to suit the size of fly that you're tying. So, when you catch this in, let me start to work my way up. Give yourself like about say a third of the way to the eye to tie in your wing. So then we form our body with the silk. So we quite look, see how it started. I'm just gonna go back here. Just want it a wee bit better at the back. Then what row we up? Mine's on really easy. You can have it as thick or as thin as you want. Cross your thread. Nice and tight. Make sure you watch your thread. Gives you that bit more grip. Then we keep that for our next fly. Bring our rib up. Around about five times is enough. Again, cross my thread. Always keeping it nice and tight. And we can tie off. Now we're ready to tie in our floss just to split our wing and to add as the sighter. 
Now I'm just using the Glow Bright Floss and this is number four. You could use an orange, you could use whatever colour you like. Now there's four strands there and what I've done, just brush them together. You don't want it too thick. Now this is going to split the wing and then as well I'm going to fold it back for a scyther. So we tie this in. Now for the wing we need two natural CDC feathers. These are sort of medium sized. Now what I'm doing here is laying one on top of the other, lining the tips up. And then what I'd like to do is pull them in, pull the fibres in, like that. That's going to form the wing. So we get our length. Now I'm looking just within the hook. So round about, say if there was a barb there, from the barb to the eye. We tie that over the front with an actual curve with the feather up the way. So we catch that on, come round two or three turns just to basically bed it or hold it down. Just check. We tighten up with another couple and then check the lens okay first so the lens fine. Now what I'm going to do here is actually post use the but the waist end as well as the tips of the C D C feather together. Nice and tight and you've got to watch your thread, make sure it's nice and tight when you do that. Just the same way you would post a wing for a parachute hackle. So you've got them sitting, you've got the waist ends at the back, you've got the tips at the front here for your main wing. You've got your floss to help split it. Then what we want to do is get some natural dubbing. And I'm just going to get some, this is just a squirrel dub. It's a squirrel dub, it's quite sucking. Of course you could use like a mask, hair's mask, or anything like that. And just slightly dub it on. This is more for the more for the back rather than for the front. So slide it up, just to tidy the thorax up. Yeah, we half turn at the front, take away the excess at this point. And then what I want to do is split the waist ends and the, the tips of the CDC and even split to form a wing. I'm just gonna show you like what you can see there, it's just splitting it. And then at the same time splitting these so they're down either side. And what I'm going to do then is bring the floss between. I'm just going to pull this to the side. You see there, bring it between the the wing, the waist part and the wing straight. Obviously, you can just there straight through. So then what we do is we, we catch this in. A good three to four times or turns. And then what we want to do is fold it back between the wings. So bring it back through and lay it down. I'm going to get a tiny bit of dubbing back onto my thread. And then just basically do the front of the thorax. So I hold that back. Just fold up the thorax, bring the thread through it nice and tight. Any fibres around the eye we can then tidy up. I like to varnish the thread at this point, with especially with the hair there. Just a bit of varnish onto the thread, about in, say a centimetre from the eye, and then whip finish. That will varnish the head for you, seal the whip finish, trim that away. Now, what I'm going to do here is just bring the floss to the front out of the way first. To trim the CDC, the waist end, don't trim it right in, right in at the roots. Come in at an angle at the back, straight up from the middle, say round about middle to a third of the way up from the, or back from the wing. Uh, and we just straight cut like that. Take away these long fibres. And then what we can do is trim this piece of floss, maybe round about, say, three to four mil. And then we can puff it out between the the wing, and there we are. And that's basically a. I hope the Spanish anglers don't mind me tying or having a go at this. Uh, just a a way. Uh, like I've only got photographs to go by. Uh, you can maybe pull that a wee bit back further into it, but there you are. It gives you an idea of some tying methods in there. It shows you the silk body, which I've been being asked about how how to get a nice like a silk tight style body. Um, it's a nice wee pattern, I mean you can tie it smaller, I'm, these are as I say, size 16s, though it's a modern size 16 which is more 
I would say towards the 14 rather than the 16, it's in between. Uh, but as I say, I'm going to sit and tie a few of these up, uh, this size and the next size down. So, hope you enjoyed that, it's a bit of fun, uh, give them a go. And uh, I'm sure I'll catch fish in these, these are nice.